a war of words between President Trump and the man who oversaw the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. In an interview on Fox News this morning, Trump criticized the military for not having killed bin Laden sooner, and he dismissed the retired admiral uh, who oversaw that operation as a Hillary Clinton backer. McRaven. Retired Admiral, Navy SEAL, 37 years, former head of U.S. Special Operations. Hillary Clinton fan. Special Operations. Excuse me, command, Hillary Clinton fan. Who led the operations, commanded the operations that took down Saddam Hussein and that killed Osama bin Laden, says that your sentiment is the greatest threat to democracy in his okay. lifetime. Okay, he's a Hillary Clinton uh, backer uh, and an Obama backer. And Frankly, he was a Navy SEAL, wouldn't it have been nice if we got Osama bin Laden a lot sooner than that? Admiral William McRaven uh, speaking to our Jake Tapper saying this, I did not back Hillary Clinton or anyone else. I am a fan of President Obama and President George W. Bush, both of whom I worked for. I admire all presidents, regardless of their political party, who uphold the dignity of the office and who use that office to bring the nation together in challenging times. I stand by my comment that the president's attack on the media is the greatest threat to our democracy in my lifetime. When you undermine the people right to a free press and freedom of speech and expression, then you threaten the Constitution and all for which it stands. That from Admiral McRaven in that response, uh, particularly from President Trump in that interview, wide-ranging interview on Fox. All right, let's discuss this now with CNN military analyst, Lieutenant General Mark Hurdling. And you served with McRaven in Europe and Iraq. You even tweeted out saying, you know, having served with Bill McRaven in Europe and Iraq, he is one of the best leaders and selfless servants of our nation I have ever met, not a political bone in his body. So now what do you make of this back and forth? I'm going to reinforce what I said, Frederica, about Bill McRavens. He is an unbelievable patriot and a true servant, not of any president, but of the Constitution of the United States. That's what military people raise their hand to vow to support and defend. And Admiral McRaven has been very vocal about that when he's seen elements of the Constitution being uh, driven down, uh, dismissed by the current president. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill and I served about the same amount of time together. So I would guess he came in probably either under President Ford or uh, President Nixon and then served multiple presidents in his time in service. He was a fan, as I am, of uh, both President Bush and President Obama uh, because we served under him in com under both of them in combat and saw that like any president, they mm -hmm. have all sorts of uh, really difficult requirements, difficult decisions. Mm -hmm. We don't always agree with everything they do or say, but truthfully, if they uphold the, off the office of the president and uphold the Constitution, that's what is most important. And as a veteran, what comes across your mind when you hear a sitting president dismiss uh, an admiral, a retired admiral, who oversaw these in incredible operations, um, such risk-taking operations, and criticize well, it, them for um, po over politics. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd use one word, Frederica, and that's disgusting. Uh, you know, everyone knows Bill McRaven as being the guy that led the uh, the bin Laden raid. But truthfully, I knew him as the guy who was the JSOC, the Joint Special Operations Commander in Iraq. And there were multiple missions where this guy was involved, uh, placed himself in danger, led soldiers and, some, and, and uh, the Joint Force in some of the most challenging situations you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And for ha having someone like the President of the United States, a man that holds an office that's supposed to represent all people and who says he supports the military, to just dismiss this great American hero as a guy who was a Hillary Clinton lover, which is patently not true, is just really disgusting. It's unfortunate, but it's just another day in the life of the Trump administration, I guess. And this comes a week after there were observations and a lot of criticism about the president's handling of Veterans Day weekend, uh, not right. at first going to an, uh, an American cemetery, you know, an hour or so outside of Paris, and then when getting back to the United States, not going to Arlington National Cemetery, which is tradition for sitting presidents. And the president was asked about that in this same wide-ranging Fox interview, and this is what he had to say.
I should have done that. I was extremely busy on calls for the country. We did a lot of calling, as you know. I think but this is Veterans Day. I probably, uh, you know, in retrospect, I should have. And I did last year, and I will virtually every year. But we had come in very late at night, and I had just left literally the American Cemetery in Paris, uh, and I really probably assumed that was fine. Uh, and I was extremely busy because of affairs of state doing other things. Your thoughts? It's a factor of leadership, Frederica. Leaders know what to do, where to be, what things to say. And uh, in all three of those things, I think the president is currently a failure. Uh, it, it's more than just saying, I support our troops. You have to understand what a leader of the military has to do, what they have to show. And sometimes that's being in places where you don't want to be at times when you don't want to be there and you have a lot of other things on your mind or on your plate. But truthfully, there are just flat out times when you need to be different places to show your respect. And in this case, uh, last weekend was one of those kind of occasions where the, the president received a failing grade in many military uh, people's view. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Lieutenant General Mark Hurdling, thanks so much.